Welcome back, beer tubers, to episode 499 San Diego Beer Vlog. We're going to look at a pretty special beer from Avery. It's one of their big monster barrel aged beers. And this is Uncle Jacob's Stout. This is the first batch they did. It was bottled back in March of 2012, uh, limited to 694 cases. And it, it come, clocks in at a whopping 17.42% ABV. It's just ridiculous. But well, this is a Imperial Stout aged in bourbon barrels. I expect it to, you know, be along the lines of like those other big Imperial Stouts like Pukachev's Cobra and Black Tuesday. And uh, I wanted to give it a little bit of time to age. So we got, you know, a year and a half on it. I poured it out, pours out pretty dark. There was a little bit of head that just fizzled away. Huge alcohol legs, side of the glass. It's pitch black. A little bit of head on there is a uh, just a real solid brown color. Uh, it's very viscous in the glass. Just to get the aroma, which I smell as soon as I open the bottle. Oh yeah, whoo! Just huge, huge notes. Toffee, caramel, dark chocolate. Those are the first things I noticed. There is still some alcohol presence on the nose, but this is higher than wine. You know, it's. Uh, it does have a little bit of that dark fruit pork character to it. Yeah, uh, bourbon soaked raisins, uh, a lot of vanilla. Some nice oak notes too. Yeah, it's got a really nice complexity to it and uh, ooh, it's a potent beer. Definitely picking up the alcohol in the nose, but hopefully it'll be a little more mellow on the taste. Let's dig in. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's um, it's much more mellow on the on the palate in terms of the alcohol. Uh, it's a nice warming beer. Good time of the year to drink this type of beer. A lot of complexity to it. Um, does remind me of Black Tuesday. Uh, just these big, huge stouts that get up that high in alcohol. It, oftentimes, they're adding a lot of sugar to the beer, and depending on the types of sugar, you know, you're going to get a lot different character than say just an all grain imperial stout and you taste those uh, more subtle nuances and I don't know what kind of yeast you're using but it's getting up there there's some nice yeast esters coming through nice warming alcohol spicy sort of alcohol note to it up front a lot of nice sweetness to it a lot of uh, that toffee caramel note then you get a little bit of like a red fruit character some kind of like berry like a not quite raspberry, sort of cherry-like notes to it. Uh, then it transitions into the dark fruits. Specifically, I get a lot of raisin. There's a touch of fig in there as well. But midway through, you pick up some of that like bourbony caramel uh, flavor to go with the the raisin dark fruit notes. And the finish has uh, a lot of a lot of chocolate characteristics to it. It's not an overly roasty beer. Uh, there's a little bit of roast character. Mostly the, the chocolate, it goes from semi-sweet to dark sort of baker's chocolate to like an 80% cocoa type of chocolate bar. Nice vanilla uh, going along with the chocolate in the finish. And uh, the beer lingers around a little bit in the finish and you start getting some of those nice oak tannin characteristics that really help dry out the beer. You know, the roasted, the roasted malt that is in there is helping dry out the beer as well. The alcohol does provide some sweetness, but then it kind of helps with the finish drying it out. So it, it turns out to be a relatively balanced beer for such a huge beer. It's a, I would say it's a little more balanced than Black Tuesday. You also pick up some sugary notes that go from sort of the, the more molasses character to the, to the brown sugar to a lighter sort of like turbinado type of sugar notes to it. So the, um, that is kind of up front to go along with the toffee, caramel notes to it. So it's, man, it's, it's a really nice beer. I've heard some, some people reference it being a little soy saucy, so you're getting more of that umami character. On my palate, I, I kind of understand where they're coming from. There is like an earthy presence, and maybe that's from the wood and some of those darker malts, but I, I don't really get that characteristic in terms of like tasting like a salty soy sauce beer. So I really enjoy this one. 
it's gotten better. I think I tried it a while ago, and it, it's getting better with age. There's still plenty of bourbon characteristics to it, and uh, it's, it's a beer that's very warming and built to age in your cellar. So hopefully you can pick it up, and if you do, get some to age, because I think the beer's really going to improve with time, and uh, I think this one's still going to get better the first batch. Uh, it still in the, has a nice warming sensation to it. And let's you know, it's just a big, massive beer. So I hope you get, guys can try Uncle Jacob Stout from Avery. I thought they knocked this one out of the park. It's an easy A for me. Excellent beer. Recommend it. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.